is now 1083. 1082 is now 1081. 1083 is now 1084. And 1084 is now 1082. That puts those boards and commissions in alphabetical order and allows us to vote up in, in that manner. Also, between the adjournment and the discussion items, there will be a recess. We will go to the PDA meeting, and then council has been asked to schedule an executive session prior to adjournment for uh, discussing litigation matters. Uh, there will be no new business between the executive session and the adjournment. With those changes, Mr. Etheridge, are there any other changes? So moved. Council, any other changes? If not, Chair is ready for a motion. So moved. So moved. It's been moved and seconded for the vote council. Motion passed to now, Mr. Young. Thank you.
for or Switzerland for German next to on my agenda. But whatever it is, after careful consideration, I am not running for re-election. I think my family is here to assure that I said that. Because I've told them that several times before. And I really don't think they believe me. I would be very remiss if I didn't at this time say thank you to the numerous people who in the past six months have talked to me, have encouraged me to run, have promised their support, both financial and otherwise. Your activities and those actions showing your respect for me are appreciated more than you will ever know. To clarify, I'm not resigning tonight. I thoroughly intend to sit behind this bias until November 50, oh good Lord willing. We had a council advance on April, not August before, not September, but April 16th through 18, at which time council came out with some very challenging and creative projects and activities. I thoroughly intend to continue working with my fellow council members and the staff to start this project in motion and be One other comment, which really is a little off focus. As I said, there are five other people sitting behind this diet who will face the same decision. It is my earnest hope and prayer that the majority of those five people will decide to run again. And even though I hope that there are competitive races, in all of the six vacant seats. I also hope that the majority of those people will remain behind this guidance as the city goes into the 21st century. I think one of the things I'm proudest of is that from every measure that we can find, the citizens of this community are not crying out for change. As we look at citizen surveys, as we look at focus groups, as we look at board meetings and ice cream socials, our citizens have told us that they are happy with the services we're delivering, that they are satisfied with the delivery of that services, and that furthermore, they think that this community is headed in the right direction. We have problems, of course, and we make mistakes, of course, but congestion, school, growth, and crime can all be handled. And I feel very comfortable that this group is able to do that and will continue to do it. It's been a pleasure to serve, let's see, 25 years, eight months, give or take a few days here or there, and we still have six months to go. So in order to let my children go and have their supper, I think it's time that we get going. Service delivery for category is also played by Gordon. 
for its involvement in the Golf Court Funding Project, which provides golf practice instruction and tournament play for disabled individuals. The city, along with Aurora Inglewood and the Foothills Parks and Recreation District, has provided facilities and support for golf for fun activities. At the Council of Government's annual awards dinner in March, at, the, at Mass Planner Craig Marushki and Mayor Marnell, huh? You did that well. Oh, they, they put it out there very well for me, too. Thank them very much. <laughs> and Mayor Margaret Carpenter were recognized for their efforts with these projects. Tonight, I am pleased to present plaques to you for these great projects. Congratulations. Thank you, Sharon, very much. Jack, did we have someone from planning? Yeah, Susan. Obviously, we lost half a lot of us. Congratulations. How about Carson Rec? Mike's not here. Someone Oh, Michael. Mr. Soderbergh. That here is off the fun. The reason for this is because Farm Creek Golf Creek Course, which of course the city owns, donates one day every summer for the fundraising uh, tournament for <coughs> disabled golfers in the program called Golf for Fun. So Mike, if you could see the two people or the golf course gets that, we would appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. This week and this memorial day was first recognized in 1962 uh, by the passage of the public law 87-54 signed by President Kennedy. Police week is observed to commemorate past and present police officers for dedication of service to the community and for preserving the rights and securities of all citizens. Police Officer Day it is observed to honor those peace officers who have lost their lives or became disabled in the line of duty. Police Week will be from May 9th through the 15th. Specifically, Thornton, the City of Thornton, by the passage of this resolution, will uh, post the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Flag uh, at the Southern Mall Civic Center flag post in lieu of the city flag for up this week. Additionally, on, on May 14th, the American flag will be flown at half staff at all city facilities and colors will be presented and uh, retrieved by the Thornton Color Guard uh, uh, posted at 8 in the morning and retrieved at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Additionally, the five, a yes, front of the city center. Additionally, five uh, members of the Thornton Police Department are being sent uh, to uh, the National Law Enforcement Memorial in Washington, D.C. by the Colorado Fraternal Order of Police uh, Block 16. And these members uh, comprise our Bagpiper and Drum Squad attachment to the Fort Auto Guard, but they will be actually playing at the National Memorial. Thank you, Lindsay. And I would invite anyone who has not seen that flag presentation or heard the bagpipers to be here either at 8 o'clock in the morning on the 14th of May or at 5 o'clock in the evening to watch both the raising and the lowering of the flag at that time. This time, Council does have a resolution, and I would recognize Council Member Sharon Trudeau. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to introduce pass a document number 99062, a resolution declaring the week of May 9th through 15th, 1999, is Police Week, and May 15th, 1999, is Peace Officers Memorial Day. Whereas the Congress and the President of the United States have designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it falls as Police Week. 
and whereas the members of the Thornton Police Department play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the citizens of the city of Thornton. And whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the problems, duties, and responsibilities of their police department. And that members of Thornton's police department recognize their duty to serve the people of this city by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence or disorder, and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression or intimidation. And whereas the Thornton Police Department is a modern and progressive law enforcement agency which provides a vital 